All right, continuing from the Filmmakers Lounge, I'm here with director Scott Hatfield. And Scott, you're out of Philadelphia, right? That's correct. Okay, is this your first time to the Valley of the Sun? No, I've been here before. Okay, well, welcome to the Arizona Black Film Showcase. I'm oh, going to extend the you. invitation, and thank you so much for coming. And your film is its a pretty interesting topic, and I'm trying to wrap my brain around how you put <laughs> so much information into 20 minutes, which doesn't seem like a lot of time. The title is A Little Bit of Love, The Making of a Message, and it takes place in... Um, East Africa with musicians and they're rallying around the subject of AIDS, right? Trying to raise awareness about AIDS, which when I think of that, I think of, wow, you can go on for hours and days talking about that subject. So how do you comprise that information to make a film and put it in 20 minutes? Um, well, I documented the making of a song, which is called A Little Bit of Love. So my documentary is titled, mm -hmm. naturally, A Little Bit of Love, The Making of a Message. So that was something that I did wrestle with in the um, production part of it, in the okay. um, editing part. What is going to hold people's attention? Because this song is very upbeat positive mm -hmm. and it's got like great messages in it mm -hmm. and I didn't want to weigh the documentary down I believe that you know you can tell a story in 20 minutes okay you can tell a story in 60 minutes or you can tell a story you know in two hours yeah but I felt the 20 minutes really told the story and got the message that I wanted to get out in the documentary which was about the coming together of really hip stylish musicians mm -hmm. and Uganda with medical personnel who created an HIV AIDS awareness song and that song is called A Little Bit of Love. How do you as a creative director walk that fine line of not like offending people or leaving something out that is very important? Um, well I guess that's that's a good point. My um, documentary, the message in my documentary again is that these musicians mm -hmm. work with medical personnel to create a very upbeat, positive, fun, 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 fun song. Which is interesting because you, when you think of like the subject matter, how can that be fun? But Thank I mean, you. they're putting a they're, different spin yeah, on it. Yeah, they're clapping, they're, yeah. you know, they're dancing, they're like really, really mm -hmm. getting into it because they're happy people. Yeah. And it's not like all of this footage that you see, these infomercials where people are, are like... Or some documentaries which are very dark and that's depressing. What, and, that's why I did it. Okay. I was like, look, world, look people, this is not the typical day in mm -hmm. Africa, especially in Uganda, when Uganda was actually one of the hardest hit countries um, from the very beginning of the HIV AIDS uh -huh. epidemic. But you know, people go out to clubs, they go out to hear music, they go out to restaurants, you know, people are living like full mm -hmm. lives. And it's just very much a side that isn't always seen. And yeah. actually parts of my documentary um, were broadcast for a story on CNN International on a nice. show called Inside Africa. And I'm telling you this because CNN loved the upbeat, mm -hmm. positive approach. Like people were afraid to talk about it. We have all these talk shows here and people yeah. just sort of talk about everything. But you know, it's still pretty much um, an issue that not everybody's just like saying, you know, hey, mm -hmm. you know, I got this, you know, having these these that were celebrity musicians in the country mm -hmm. sing about this and, and being up there in front in the video talking about it, then it's like, well, okay, you know, I can talk about it too. Or, okay. you know, I can go and like seek out help or just knowledge of how to prevent this. So I figured that there was enough personal stories that did come out of the interviews. Mm -hmm. And it was enough because it was really about the project and people coming together. Well, I appreciate you being here at the Arizona Black Film Showcase. It sounds very interesting. It seems like you're having a good time. I am, yes. Okay. And the weather is great. It so, is great. Yeah, All it's right. worth it for the weather. Director Scott Hatfield. Mm -hmm. Interviews from the Filmmakers Lounge will continue here at the Arizona Black Film Showcase. Mm -hmm.